given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe. Hello and welcome to a special episode today of Seek Truth, Speak Truth. This is actually part two, even though part one and two are sort of mutually exclusive, so they do not need to be watched in order. Part one you will find on Conspiracy Cats channel. We have come together to try and offer some opinions, a slight debunk of a channel known as Rachie Five Zeros. She is a flat earther. In my opinion, the only or one of the only flat earthers truly, truly questioning maybe is it a globe. Most flat earthers are really, really stuck in a mindset. I know because I was a flat earther. So I'll just tell you quickly about the Conspiracy Cats video. It is, in my opinion, the best debunk I have ever, ever seen of a flat earth video. He has put in so much effort. The original video that he's debunking is about 12 minutes and the video is over an hour long. So I have seen it and it has taught me so much that I hadn't already known. And I'm sure even as a glober, you will learn so much from Conspiracy Cats. He is such a great educator and teacher. And to me, this is the best flat earth debunk on the internet. I'm adding my part. I'm not debunking Rachie at all because that has already been done. I want to offer my reasons and opinions as to why people believe in Flat Earth and I know that it is a cognitive bias of the mind. There are certain barriers put in place and Rachie shows glimmers of hope with her comments such as this comment here. She understands that she's not always looking out for the truth and she understands that sometimes she just overlooks a globe earth evidence to back up her cognitive bias. That is a massive step, Rachie, to, to see and know that you are doing that. And you said in a comment to me earlier that you might be dumb as, but you're not. And nobody would be questioning this, like a dumb person wouldn't even look into it. They just wouldn't even care. So you are proving yourself to be a scientist. But at the minute, you have a few mental blocks going on and only you can break through them. What I'm trying to do and what Conspiracy Cats has done is just offer the Conspiracy Cats video evidence of a globe and me from personal experience evidence that ego and other things do play a part in believing in flat earth. This is down to you Rachie, this is your decision and the reason we have reached out is because we know that you are reachable. The effort that has gone in in Conspiracy Cats video is incredible, so honestly, like I say, go back and watch that. It doesn't matter if you watch this first. Um, that, you know, the order just doesn't matter. We had a sort of slight discussion earlier, um, and I just want to show you how dishonest some flat earthers can actually be. Whether deliberate or not, I don't know. <sighs> to me, D-I-T-R-H possibly might not be a real flat earther. You shared a video to me as proof of a CIA agent basically saying NASA is not a space agency. The information was put together by D-I-T-R-H or David Weiss and it's an edited video and in all words of honesty within about five or six minutes I worked out what had gone on. It just takes fact checking and looking back 
And I just want to show this right now to show how dishonest some people are within the Flat Earth community. The obvious question is, okay, you've been a senior CIA officer, and uh, do you believe this? Yes, I believe this. Uh, however, let me clarify that 90% of the people in CIA are good people trapped in a bad system, and there are at least seven CIAs, okay? So CIA is not a monolithic organization. Also, when we, against the orders of President Truman, when Alan Dulles brought in all the Nazi scientists and so forth, they went to two places. They went to CIA and they went to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which in our world we call it not a space agency. <laughs> and as Kathy O'Brien has said so clearly, that's where the bulk of the mind control has been done. So just to, to mention the seven CIAs as a partial and very brief answer to your question. We don't need that information more slowly at all. So what you have here is a video highly edited, put together to make it look like a former CIA agent is basically saying, not a space agency, we've never gone to space. And then in this next clip, you have this very same man saying this and uh, this may strike your listeners as way out but we actually believe that there is a colony on mars that is populated by children who were kidnapped and sent into space on a 20-year ride uh, so that once they get to mars they have no alternative but to be slaves on the mars colony so robert david Steele is in my opinion a conspiracy theorist he is similar to, say, David Icke. Um, they may get some things right. And I believe that these people get so... They love the awe and the people that come to them and think that they are the evidence givers. When DITRH has obviously edited a video together to make it look like this man was saying, not a space agency, when I found a clip saying he thinks we've sent sex trafficking children to Mars. So he obviously fully believes in space travel. That is the fact that I'm getting out of this. When he mentions the brainwashing, I'm sure he's meaning brainwashing half of the people that work there so they don't realize that there's sex trafficking going on within NASA. There, I will say fully, fully confidently now, there are no children on Mars. But I have just confirmed within moments that a flat earth video that promotes fake space and fake space travel has just been torn apart with five or six minutes of actual research. I said to you, Rachie, have you ever watched a debunk video sort of debunking the NASA moon hoax? And you said you haven't. And that again is a typical conspiratorial mind I had the same watching videos as why we didn't go to the moon proof we never landed there when if you actually sit and watch a fully comprehensive debunk of this hoax you will then at least if you have watched it have more ground to stand on to say I don't believe we went to the moon but you literally admitted to me you haven't even checked the debunks out that is obviously a cognitive bias, which I understand and get completely. I'm not knocking that at all. I want to talk actually about a sun observation. You mentioned this. Yeah. So, sunsets. The sun gets, as the sun gets closer, so distance wise, as it gets closer, it gets higher in the sky, so it's sunrise. As it's starts to get further away in distance, it appears to lower in the skies and set. And I just basically want a sort of thought experiment, mind experiment, because now to my mind, what you're saying obviously is, you know, sunrise, sunset. Can we agree that this side, you've got probably three or four miles 
before you get to the horizon and three or four miles this this way. So that's about six miles. Sometimes we have daylight for 14, 15 hours in a day. Do you think that that sun has taken all that time, 14 hours, to travel just over six or seven miles? And I know obviously, you know, people say close and local sun, oh, it disappears over the horizon, just gets further and further away. It doesn't at all, it never gets smaller. You have to try and think three dimensionally. That sun has not taken 14 hours to travel what really in your sight of view is maybe seven or eight miles either way. Try and put that into your head and onto a say flat earth map that that's how far the sun has traveled. It would be darkness then for the entire rest of the planet apart from your small part of where you live. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to end there, Rachie. Please, everybody, go over and watch the video on Conspiracy Cat's channel. It is the, the best debunk the internet has ever seen of Flat Earth. I honestly promise you that. Rachie, only you can see who the genuine, genuine people are. It's good to be thinking and you're a thinker and there's nothing nothing wrong with that i just think you're actually a bit of wasted talent where you are you can come back it's taken me a year and now i'm actually quite respected and i feel like i know a little bit maybe five percent more than i did this time last year and just knowing that is amazing exploring the universe the wonders of it is incredible Thank you all. Thank you if you did get to the end of that. But please go and watch the Conspiracy Cats video. Rachie, it may take you two or three visits of watching it. But I know that you are a genuine truth seeker. And that is why the effort here is still being put in. I hope that you can actually watch this open-minded. Start again. Be a denier of both but at the end come to a conclusion it's up to you it really is up to you so thank you all you can do it Rachel you can do it we have faith stay safe and keep it global what you giving that's how we live it don't be mad at the system it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe